Waikiki Chain is an all-in-one decentralized financial ecosystem that makes lending, investing, and exchanging various digital assets pretty simple through blockchain technology, and it is open to anyone. Now, here we have a Waikiki Chain co-founder and CEO, Gordon Gao, with us to explain how it works. So, Gordon, great to have you all the way from China. Um, I love to, I love Zoom because like we can talk in real time around the world. I'm just fascinated by the whole technology. Yeah, I'm honored to be here. Yeah, <laughs> great to have you. So tell us about Waikiki Chain. What is it all about? Give us an overview of the company. Uh, yes. Well, we believe the traditional finance is not designed in a way for the best interest of the majority of people. Uh, there are inequities. Uh, the numbers shows that the top 1% of people uh, takes over 30% of treasure of the entire world. Uh, and the percentage is still increasing. Uh, the richest ladder can easily get the best interest rate from the bank and can invest in assets with good returns. But the average people get higher lending interest rate and lower saving rate. Uh, you will get nothing if you put money in your bank saving account this year, right? Okay. So what Waikiki Chain is doing is to break this inequity. We don't know who you are. We don't know where you're from. Every people get the same access to the best rate of saving and lending. Also, we provide opportunity to let people invest in the best assets around the world with nearly no entry barrier. Okay. Well, that sounds very interesting and um, democratic for average people who don't have an entry into some of the best deals in finance. So you're kind of trying to open this up for more people, right? I mean, how does right. how does that work? And you mentioned a little bit, go into a little more detail about solving the problems of traditional finance. Okay. So first of all, traditional finance can be very costly. So when I was in Columbia University, my mom in China sent me some US dollars to my account uh, for the life expenses. And I remember that clearly that $150 was charged just for the transaction fee. But on blockchain, the cross-border payment is much cheaper. So for example, on Waikiki chain, no matter what amount of money you are transferring, the transaction fee is less than one cent. Also, there are many middlemen who will charge you a lot in traditional finance, like all the banks and investment banks like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, they make profit using their clients' money, right? But on blockchain, we eliminate middlemen as many as possible. And the system will also share the profit to the coin holders. And the coin is available to all the public around the world. Another thing that is on blockchain we break the gap between countries. For example, the common U.S. investors are very hard to invest in Asia assets, but on blockchain, we can make it very easy through synthetic assets technology. Okay, I mean, that um, solves a lot of problems. It's really an entirely different model of finance, right. and um, it's opening up countries through blockchain, which we've never, this technology is allowing us to do things we've never been able to do before. So now I, I've talked to a lot of blockchain companies. There's a lot of tokens out there. It's a fairly new technology. So a lot of people are kind of getting involved. What separates Waikiki Chain from some of the other companies in this space? Um, and like most of the other blockchains, a Waikiki Chain is designed for DeFi. And DeFi is the abbreviation of decentralized finance. Uh, so we make so many improvements just for DeFi, and it, it is customized. If I can pick two features of the list, I would say security level and the performance. So first of all, we are one of the most secure blockchains around the world. Our CTO was in charge of one of the security team of Alibaba and even in Morgan Stanley. Okay. Also, Waikiki Chain is being audited every year by top security companies. Our blockchain has been online for over two years with zero attack happened. We made a lot of features functioning at the core layer of blockchain and the servers of that layer is distributed around the world, which makes it extremely difficult to attack. You know, when it comes to finance, security is always the most important part, right? And secondly, the, the performance of Wiki chain is at the top level. Wakey Chain can deal with 
over 4.5 thousand transactions per second. And this feature ranks the first according to the professional test before on news BTC. Okay, and then what would be the benefit of using the Y keychain platform versus another platform? Um, yes, I think that is related to our product lines, right? We have four product lines. The first one is collateral lending. So far, we accept the Wiki coin as the collateral assets, and later Bitcoin and Ethereum are, will be accepted. So if people want to hold the long position of the cryptocurrency they're holding or digital assets they're holding, but at the same time, they want to get some liquidity, they can put their digital assets in our lending protocol and get some stable coins, which can be turned into cash, okay. or they can use the stable coins to make some other investment within the system. The second one is yield earning. The product will be online at quarter three this year. We give risk-free yield much higher than the United States banks can provide. Very interesting. All yields are provided by the lenders, so it's totally risk-free. And the third one is crypto asset trading. So people can make coin-to-coin -coin exchange here in our decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. And the fourth product line is the synthetic assets trading platform that I mentioned before. Users can invest in nearly all kinds of assets in the world without really holding it. Okay. So give me a little history of the business. When were you started? And then how is business going so far this year? And what have been kind of some achievements and milestones you've reached? Yeah, sure. So although we just started last year, and there are various things happening in the first half of this year, we still get a pretty good result here. Now, we have over $10 million assets collateralized and more than $2.5 million US dollar stable coin landed out. And most of the customers use these stable coins to invest in cryptocurrencies, Hong Kong stocks, or US stocks. Still, there's a part of them are cashed out. We are planning to make the number tripled by the end of this year. And we are approaching this goal by accepting more types of collateralized assets and launch a fund with higher risk-free yield. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that sounds very exciting and um, interesting to see how this technology can change the world in a generation or so, how it's gonna change finance globally. So thank yeah, you very that's much. Our thank you very much, Gordon Gow, the founder and CEO of Waikiki Chain. Great to have you. And we'll be right back.